We got a beautiful day in front of Black Hawk, statue of Black Hawk. It's a quick history on Black Hawk. A lot more Chicago cultural references than we probably remember. Certainly the Black Hawks hockey team are named after this guy. So apparently in the late 1700s, the Sauk and the Muskonkey Indians, also known as the Fox Indians, uh, gave up all the land east of the Mississippi to the United States and moved over to Iowa. Black Hawk was a warrior in the Sauk tribe, and he refused to go over to, to Iowa, so he stayed here, but he said that he wouldn't fight. And I guess there was a, a point in time when some of the Indian tribe were, were shot when they were trying to give up, and that started the Black Hawk War of 1832, which lasted from the middle of May to the end of August. And I guess Black Hawk and a thousand of his tribe went up and down the Rock River uh, fighting and trying to convince other tribes to join. They wouldn't. And eventually they got into a bunch of different battles. Um, and at the end of August, I guess Black Hawk and his, what was left of his band were in Wisconsin and he finally surrendered. Uh, of, of historical significance, though, is that the Black Hawk War had three future presidents enlisted in it. So the uh, 1,300 U.S. Army troops that were sent out to, uh, to fight in the Black Hawk War. That included Zachary Taylor, Jefferson Davis, and Abraham Lincoln. So that's, that's pretty interesting.